know how I found myself in this position. Yet again, there's a lot happening to me. Hello, book reading friends. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Mel and today I bring you a huge book box unboxing. I do not know how we've gotten here yet again. So today we've got a massive book box unboxing. We've got two fairy loots. We've got two Luma crates, September one and the Night Circus one. We've got two book of the month boxes and then we've got this PR package. It's about to be a time. It's about to be a long video probably too. So let's get right into it. So where do I want to start? I think let's get these book of the month boxes out of the way because I've got two months right here. This is such poor handling of this knife. There we go. Let us open the and see what's on the inside of the beautiful blue box. Oh wait, I already got this book? Okay, wait, I forgot what I'd gotten in this box. First thing, you guys know... <laughs> You guys are probably gonna side-eye me when I show you guys the first book that I got. You guys know I hate normal people. With every fiber of my existence that I hate that book, I still got Beautiful World, Where Are You? Literally, go off in the comments. I, I dare you. I invite you to do it. This book will get read in November, so it's gonna be an interesting one. We'll see how I think about this one. We'll see if my opinion on Sally Rooney changes, if it stays the same. I know we follow four different friends in their threads of life, and that's about all I know. I totally forgot that I had gotten this book. I was literally talking to Katie, Katie Colson, yesterday and today. I leave her link down below in case you guys want to check Katie out. She's incredible. But I literally was talking to her about this book and I was like, oh my god, yeah, I need to spend one of my credits on this book and like get it. And I already got it, but I have no memory of getting no exit. This is how you know these lapses of judgment when buying books happens very often. This is No Exit by Taylor Adams. Yes, Taylor Adams. This is a thriller. It is booktube excellence. It is booktube royalty. Everybody who reads this book loves it. I don't know much about this except for the fact that it is set in the snow. The plot twist is apparently incredible. I shall guess that somebody gets stranded in the middle of the snow and needs to save their lives or else perish. And then what happened? We'll find out. And the last book that I got was Dear Edward. Now I had never heard of this book up until I saw it from Book of the Month and the tagline was beautiful enough that I said add to cart and I checked out very quickly. <laughs> what does it mean to not only survive but to truly live. And based on the title, you'd be able to follow that we, of course, have our main character, Edward, and he, alongside another 183 passengers, find themselves on this flight that unfortunately crashes, and Edward finds himself as the sole survivor of this crash. And that is all I know. Another box, and I think this box is a little bit clearer in my head. Two books that I was still very interested in, and that is The Death of Vivek Oji. I have heard incredible things about this book. It was definitely one of the books that, when Book of the Month had it, everybody was reading it, everybody was getting it, everybody was loving it, and it's also super short, so I thought I'd give this one a go and buy it. I love the concept of books being set outside of the US, and this one is set in Nigeria. I know the bare minimum of it, and it is a mother opening her front door and finding her son's dead body wrapped in colorful fabric. There's this mystery element to find out exactly what has happened, and again, that's as far as my knowledge for this one goes, but based on the length of the book, I think it's fair that I don't know that much. So I am very excited to read that when the time is due. And then of course, The Secret History, which is a lot bigger than I realized this book would be. But I have this really cool video planned in November that includes this book. It is finally time for me to read this. I know so many people whose favorite Dark Academia book is The Secret History. I think when we think about Dark Academia from the 90s onwards, this is like the poster child for Dark Academia. And so I'm really excited to experience this. Yes, that's all I'm gonna say for this one. But the book of the month edition is really pretty. Let us jump into this PR package, right? Oh, let's cut the cameras real quick. We have this PR package and this is Pax Journey Home. I don't know who this is from. Let us, it's got a lot of tape. Let us, oh, that was squeaky and horrible. It's been a year since Peter and his pet fox, Pax, have seen each other. But when Pax welcomes a litter of baby foxes that he must protect in a dangerous world, he returns to the one human he can trust. Why does that make me want to tear up? Why am I such an emotional person? God damn it. I read that this was a sequel, so I'm really excited about the fact that they send both books. Both of them have dappled edges. Where am I putting 
this box. I guess I'm putting it on the floor for now. I really should have prepared myself for an unboxing and sat down, but a girl is stubborn, so I didn't do that. But we've got the first book, Packs, and it's in paperback. Oh, and it's got French flaps. I love those. It is floppy, and it's got deckled edges, which I love. And then we've got the second one in hardback, and it still has those deckled edges. I absolutely love that. Look at that hardback. That is literally so beautiful. They sent cookies. <laughs> Thank you so much to HarperCollins for sending this my way. It is out now if you guys want to check it out or check out the first one as well. And now, let us dive in to the book boxes. What do I want to do first? You know what, let's do the Night Circus box first because that's long overdue. <laughs> and then we'll do the September Luma Crate. Then we'll jump into Fairy Loot. Oh, I'm really excited about all these. Very, very sad that they didn't do the black box again. Nonetheless, I know that whatever is inside, it's gonna be really beautiful. <laughs> this off camera. There we go. We've got a box. It's open. We are going to see the items. Oh wait, there's so many items. What the heck? Is this a tea set? It's got that very distinctive night circus layout with the stripes and then those red patterns. It's really beautiful. And let us see what this looks like. And this says, trespassers will be exsanguinated. I really do need to read this book. That really does sound really cool. And I know that the night circus, more so than the starless sea, is the fan favorite so I can't wait to give that a read when the time is due. I'm gonna be the most unbearable human being and I always say this. I'm gonna be so unbearable now that I have a teapot but it is fine. It's one of those massive teacups. I love every second of this. Give it to me Illumicrate. Thank you so much. This is massive and I do not need this. I'm gonna be like We've got another one of these cylinder thingies, which we've gotten before. This is one of those posters. And this is what this one looks like. This says, Le Cirque de Rive. I, I should stop. I'm gonna stop myself before I ridicule myself on camera, on the internet. This says, Celia Bowen and Marco Alasdair. I'm gonna guess those are the main characters. This is really beautiful. I never truly know where to put these just because I don't have anything to hang stuff on my room. I love these, I love these. I'm already, I'm already in love with this. I, I don't, I just, yes. These fake tin books, they look so good on the shelves. Just as decoration to put some trinkets in here. It's really good for that. It seems very middle grade-esque when the book is adult, but I still do like the fact that it stays very true to the theme and the color scheme. We have a few more items in the book, and as you can see, one of the items has suffered some really big damage, which is really unfortunate because this is really beautiful. And this is a poster, an art print for the book. It's really stunning. So it's really unfortunate that because of the box that it came in, it's really all bent. We've got a bookmark, and it looks very loosely like like a metal bookmark, even though I believe it's not. Oh wait, actually it is metal. Once more it says Le Cirque du Rive. I'm very, I'm trying real hard out here even though I do not speak French. And it's got a metal tassel, which I've never really seen before with these book box bookmarks. So honestly, I adore the fact that it's different and I adore the fact that it's metal because I really do like these. They're very durable. This is the biggest pin I have ever gotten from any book box. Ever. This is how you know it's big. Three backings for a single pin. But this is a beautiful pin. It's got the moving needles. Is that what you call them? For the clock? See, Illumicrate really knows how to do these special boxes and curating all of these elements and all of these items to fit the theme. I will say though, out of the ones that I've seen lately, I think the curation of this one is probably the most cohesive and the most beautiful because everything just fits so perfectly with the theme. This is the book. It came in the yellow pouch. Let's take the book out and definitely gonna have to show this book to you guys on another shot because if I do that, it's just gonna blind you guys. It honestly looks great in person. You've got the black sprayed edges on both ends. You've got the ribbon bookmark and then you've got the exclusive cover. These stenciled edges which are striped. Again, very on theme, very on brand for the book. We've got custom end papers as well. This foiling under the dust jacket and ah, uh, we've got a quote at the spine. The circus arrives without warning. It is simply there when yesterday it was not. And again, I know nothing about this book and because I am reading 
doing it for a very specific reading vlog in December. I want to keep it that way. I don't really want to know too much about it, but I do know that the circus arrives and then it leaves. We also have the September Illumicrate. So let us open this bad boy up and see what's inside. I do know what the book is and I know the book has obviously created a lot of controversy given the author and what the author's actions have done in the past and how the author has reacted to certain things. We've got the September theme, which is to the bitter end. We've got a pouch, first of all, and it's got some wrapping. So I'm going to assume that we have got some sort of metal item in here that they like to keep. I'm instantly happy. I'm, I'm very, very happy that this exists. I don't know if this is a letter opener or just a replica, but this is absolutely no questions asked riptide from Percy Jackson. And I love this. It's actually really weighty. So we've got Riptide Sword Replica and it was designed by Stacey McAvoy Khan. So we've got a pouch with Manon from Throne of Glass. Can't say that I'm a fan, mostly because the illustration looks very blurry. I don't believe it's because I don't have my glasses on. And it was designed by Winter of Her Discontent. This is inspired on these violent delights that makes me very happy by Chloe Gong. Our violent end is coming out soon and I cannot wait to read that. Definitely gonna be displaying that. We've got a Strange the Dreamer item and this was designed by Blissfully Bookish and this is for sneakers. Shoe charms definitely will be making a use of. I'm going out tomorrow so I'll definitely make sure to switch it around and put these on my shoes. I didn't know I needed this up until I had it and now I love this. We have got some magnets and I have gotten some in the past as well so this is nice for the growing collection and this if I'm taking any gambles, Ember in the Ashes, only because of that blonde girl with the mask. Always Victoria's Magnets. These were designed by Joanne Castro. And these are Laia, Elias, and Helen from An Ember in the Ashes. We've got the monthly enamel pin. And this says, may the dark know your name and despair. And I think the only thing we've got left based on this is the book. So let's pull the book out and see what it looks like in person. Also massive. This is a big book. But it is a really beautiful custom book. I'm not gonna lie. It is completely white. We've got a gold and white spine with some black accents and we've got these literally out of this world stenciled edges. That's literally the care for detail with these is absolutely astounding. It is also signed by the author in the exclusive end papers, which I like that it's just like embedded into the book. We have a really beautiful foiling on the book itself. And this says, all shall kneel. And I have been going back and forth on whether or not I'm gonna read this book. Let me know down below how you guys are feeling about this whole thing. Are you guys reading this? Are you guys not reading this? And it is Fairyloot Territory. I am very excited. I do know the August one was missing an item that was put on the September one. We have the Caraval stamp pin designed by Felfira Moon Designs. What do you mean stamp pin? Oh, okay. So like an actual stamp. I thought it was like a paper stamp. We have a little pin flag again. I am going to need to put some hooks in my room so that I can hang all of these because I have more than enough things to hang. Both of these boxes having these Violent Delight items makes me so free freaking happy. I love that it's getting the love and recognition it deserves because it's so good. But yes, this is these Violent Delights theme inspired. So again, a girl's very happy. We also have this pouch. I do love the design of it. It's really beautiful. It says, the world is wild with untamed things by Amanda Joy. A river of royal blood. Okay, I have seen this book. And then we've got the tarot cards, which are right here. Tarot cards, character cards, however you guys want to call them. And they are the two of pentacles and the ace of pentacles. I do believe based on the roses that these are Caraval. Yes, Caraval by Stephanie Garber and these are both designed by Morgana Zero Anagram as always. And to now let us run through both the books that we got in the month of August. First, we've got After Love, which I haven't seen this book before. I don't know if this book is new or if it had already come out and they decided to include it in here, but it is signed. I don't know if the cover is exclusive or not or if this is just the regular cover. And this says, not even death will take them apart. This New Year's Eve, Ash gets an invitation from the afterlife she can't decline to join a clan of fierce girl reapers who take the souls of the city's dead to await their fate. But Ash can't forget her first love.
love Poppy and she will do anything to see her again, even if it means they only get a few more days together, dead or alive. And for the book this month, I know what this is and I was so excited when they announced it because it meant that I didn't have to pay for it and buy it myself. And I know that the book is These Hollow Vows by Lexi Ryan, which if you guys have seen my anticipated releases videos, you guys would know that this is definitely one of those. And we've got the accompanying bookmark with the art print for the month, which is always in the boxes. We've got the letter from the author, which goes with a stunning art print of our main character. I love this cover and I love the fact that it has no people on it because the US version does have the three main characters in it. And we've got orange sprayed edge. We've got stenciled edge. And if I remember correctly, we follow our main character who by some circumstance finds herself in the position of infiltrating a fairy court and making the prince fall in love with her in exchange for whatever it is she lost in some sort of way. And she finds herself in this tug of war, literally. And she also finds herself in the midst of falling in love with two different men and deciding what to do with herself in that instance. That is what I remember from the synopsis. Oh, they did it again. Hello. We've got really beautiful foiling on the book, which I absolutely love. And then we've got the really beautiful art print underneath the dust jacket, as always. And now for the September box, I don't know if I know the book. I don't think I do. We have another set of socks, and this is from Six Crimson Cranes. Okay, that was fast. I love that they've already got Six Crimson Cranes elements, items going around. Socks are very freaking comfy, I will say that. Let me tell you that right off the bat. So we've got these two items. We've got another An Ember in the Ashes and this pin says, Emithal Firdent, may death claim me first. And we've got this, the Prison Healer card holder. Is this another one of the books that they had recently? Again, they're quick with these items and this is actually a really pretty card holder. I love the shades for it. It's really on brand with the book as well and what they did for it with all of the customizations as well. I love that they've stayed very on brand with the color theme of the book. A tapestry, I believe? What is this? Yes. Oh, and it's Daughter of Smoke and Bone. I love, oh, Okay, this is really beautiful. I'm gonna have to show you guys in another shot because I'm really not giving it any sort of justice, but I do love a good tapestry even though I stored them all away because I have nowhere to put them. And I definitely do not see any Cemetery Boys items, so I'll definitely check back on that. I have the two tarot cards from this month. These are from Caraval. <laughs> Features Jack and the Fallen Star from the Caraval series by Stephanie Garber, again by Morgana Zero Anagram. This month had two different books that we got. And the first is Beasts of Prey by Ayana Gray, which I know everybody's been raving about this book. Everybody's been loving it. I've been hearing nothing but praise. El Cosa was once a city of magic. Now magic is nothing more than a myth. Thrown together, Coffee and Ekon have only one chance. They must enter the terrifying greater jungle and capture Chetani, the legendary monster that has plagued El Cosa for a century. Magic has returned to El Cosa and the hunt has been begun. And we've got the book and I actually don't, yeah, I don't know what this book is. So we've got the accompanying bookmark as well. I really am wondering about that Cemetery Boys item now. I really do need to dig up on that. And we've got the art print for the book as well as the note from the author. Oh, I did not, based on that synopsis, expect for this to be the book. And it's also got a ribbon bookmark. Did not expect that, but this is Defy the Night by Bridget Kemmerer. But we've got a really cool iridescent foiling on the front of the book. And then we've got these lilac sprayed edges. Got this little foiling right here. And we've got an art print with the main characters, I assume. And actually the artist who drew this, very good job because now I want to read this. And this says, a spark of rebellion is all it takes to defy the night. The kingdom of Kandala is on the brink of disaster and the only known cure, an elixir made from the moonflower petal is severely limited. Out in the wilds, apothecary apprentice Tessa Cade is tired of seeing her name Neighbors is suffering ignored by the unyielding royals. As rumors spread that the cure no longer works and sparks of rebellion begin to flare, a particularly cruel act from the king's justice makes Tessa desperate enough to try the impossible. See, it's always the taglines and it's always the way that synopses end that really gets me. It's that last part. Will it truly be possible without it being destroyed first? So we'll see when I get around to this, but I do love that I have this and it's also a tiny hardcover compared to others. And that is basically all that I needed to unbox with you 
you guys today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you've read any of these books, if you're interested in any of these books, which items were your favorite. Let me know all of that down below or what you're currently reading. Also, we can chat about that. If you reach the end of the video, let's leave it plain and simple. Let's leave some box emojis down below if you've reached the very end. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to support the channel further, I do have a Patreon. As always, it is linked down below. You can hit us up, join the Patreon, join the Citadel, join the Discord, have fun with us. And that is linked alongside all of my social medias. All of the artists will also be linked down below. All of the books will be linked down below. Everything will be linked down below in case you guys want to check any of this out. And yes, I love you guys so, so much. And I shall see you on the next one. Bye, guys. <laughs>